Hello everybody, you are welcome to this channel. I am Atanu Betal and in this video lecture, we discuss about the racemic mixture, racemization and why racemic mixture is optically inactive. Okay, these are the topic of discussions right in this video. So before starting this video lecture, I would like to remind you that if you are new to this channel or you do not subscribe this channel right now, you can subscribe it. You can subscribe it now. So uh, let's start our discussions. The discussion is about uh, the racemic mixture, racemization, and why racemic mixture is optically inactive in nature. Racemic mixture is a is a uh, is an equimolar mixture of uh, two enantiomers, means plus enantiomer and minus enantiomer, or you can say the uh, you can say the D and L. D and L 1 is to 1 or plus or minus 1 is to 1 ok D and L I D and L means D for dextro rotatory and L for labor rotatory these two are determined experimentally only physically cannot we determine D and L form ok so dextro rotatory and labor rotatory when these two uh, enantiomers are in 1 is to 1 ratio or you can say 50 is to 50 ratio 50 percent is to 50 percent means when D and L form are when 1 is to 1 ratio or plus or minus form plus and minus form plus uh, uh, enantiomer and minus enantiomer is in 1 is to 1 form or 50 is to 50 form this is this mixture is called racemic mixture. Racemic mixture is a mixture of uh, equimolar mixture of two enantiomers, D enantiomer and uh, L enantiomers, and racemic mixture is optically inactive in nature. Racemic mixture is optically inactive in nature. Uh, why the racemic mixture is optically inactive in nature? In case of racemic mixture, uh, the plus isomer, plus isomer or plus enantiomer turns the plane of polarized light in same magnitude but in opposite direction that turned by the minus isomer or the minus enantiomer ok. So for the external compensation here the reason is here the reason is the external compensation due to external compensation the racemic mixture has no net optical rotation because of the uh, rotation made by the D isomer or D enantiomer is cancelled by the rotation equal rotation and opposite direction rotation uh, of the L, uh, L enantiomer. So as a result due to the external compensation in the mixture. Uh, the D and L both isomers are present in equal magnitude, equal amount. So as a result, D, uh, D and L both are cancelling each other uh, optical rotation uh, in equal magnitude and by opposite direction. So as a result of external compensation, the racemic mixture is optically inactive in nature. And what do you mean by racemization? Racemization is the process of making uh, the racemic mixture from starting from one enantiomeric form. Suppose we are starting from the minus enantiomeric form and preparing synthetic preparation of the uh, enantiomeric mixture means plus and minus uh, 50 is to 50 mixture synthesizing from any one of plus and minus enantiomer synthesizing of the plus and minus isomer mixture equimolar mixture or 50 is to 50 mixture the process of the synthesis of the mixture is or racemic mixture is called the racemization okay so this is the discussion about the racemic mixture which is an equimolar mixture of two enantiomer plus and minus and uh, or 50 is to 50 mixture of D and L isomers and racemization is the process of uh, synthesizing the racemic mixture uh, from one uh, enantiomer plus or minus and racemic mixtures 
are optically inactive due to the external compensation uh, where, where one uh, enantiomer com uh, completely cancel the optical rotation of other uh, enantiomers due to equal in mag magnitude and opposite uh, opposite in direction so net net no rotation for the mixture mixture is optically inactive so this is the discussion about the racemic mixture racemization and why racemic mixture is optically inactive so um, if you uh, if you have any question regarding this discussions then you can ask me in the comment section below thank you for watching these discussions and uh, you can like this video if you find it useful and you can subscribe this channel if you uh, want to watch more this type of videos or you, you find something useful from this channel then you can.